journey started on different sides of Dublin. One on the south side, not front. <laughs> Where you go? I grew up here, in Lusk, where you could always find me building things. Whether it was houses made out of Lego, or giant towers made out of pioneering poles with the scouts. And I loved exploring, going outdoors, looking at the stars, and always imagining what was out there. Basically, I always wanted to be an astronaut. And it was similar for me growing up in my hometown at Temple Oak where I wanted to build things, explore things, climb trees and hopefully get out of them. Try everything there was. And Avian and I both did that in separate parts of Ireland until we both ended up at the same university studying physics. Yeah, where I was a year ahead. That just means you're older. Uh, I think you mean that means I'm more mature. Uh, no, no, I really don't. <laughs> I currently work at the Insight Centre for Data Analytics where I'm the Education and Public Engagement Manager for our two Dublin sites. My job is to showcase the cutting edge research that's happening here in the universities to people of all ages. And we do that through different events like Girls Hack Ireland hackathons, we do school workshops, things like Pieces in Three and diving into space. And I work here at the Cool Planet Experience where we're building a visitor centre on the climate change, its impacts and what we can do to make a difference. It's a great place to work with great people and the view ain't so bad either. We also partner together on different projects, working with children from disadvantaged backgrounds and getting them excited about science, technology, engineering and maths, and also training postgraduate students to communicate their research and to do science outreach. Various other projects we get involved with as well, you can learn about those on Twitter. Yeah, if you follow us on Twitter that would be great, but what you should also realise is that we're both physicists, and as such we've been trained and taught how to see the world as it interacts on a fundamental level. And that's really important, but the world is much more than just interactions on a fundamental level. There are loads of fun and mental interactions that happen all over the place. And that's why we're taking the science bus all around Europe to meet you and to learn about all your top hacks, tips, tricks and remedies and to share some of the ones from the Doing It Together science team. Exactly. So follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you have. Or if you're lucky enough to be in the same area, come up and say hello. Yeah, and we've got some sun cream and some yogurt for you. Yeah, and you can decide which one of those you want to put on your body. Uh, one of them will attract bees. To, to, to find out which one, tune in next week. <laughs> it's, it's the yogurt. Isn't it? Of course it's the yogurt, obviously. Come block out some rays with us at the Wildemura Festival in Drebkow. Or why not join us for a workshop at the Long Night of the Museums in Berlin.